So the following is my observation about uh, the emperor and empress' visit to the UK um, from Japan uh, on the occasion of the late Queen Elizabeth's fun state funeral. Um, uh, as reported in the media, uh, it is indeed uh, very unusual for the emperor and empress to attend a funeral, uh, partly because of the Shinto tradition uh, to avoid the impurity associated with uh, the death. And, you know, this is not out of uh, a lack of respect for the deceased. It is rather um, a form of expressing the fullest uh, respect to uh, the person who passed away and at the same time um, to keep the life and death separate and which has been a really um, important part of the Japanese cultural tradition. So this um, on this occasion, uh, the Emperor and Empress of Japan are traveling to the UK uh, to attend the state funeral of the great Elizabeth II. And this is, uh, I think, a really extraordinary uh, way to express the respect uh, the royal couple have for the you know, wonderful lady who had, who had reigned in the UK for uh, 70 years, uh, which is a remarkable achievement. Um, I had the occasion, I, occasionally I had a uh, you know, uh, chance to um, glance at um, the emperor when he was a young man. Uh, he was attending some opera performances in Tokyo. He is a really great opera lover. Uh, one of the most memorable occasions was when the Berlin Deutsche Opera uh, came to Japan for Onitsu and presented the first ever ring cycle of Richard Wagner. Uh, his Royal Highness was there um, on the forefront of the second tier and second, um, you know, floor tier, and he was, you know, really attending to the performance of a really wonderful music, and you know, I could tell that he genuinely loved the opera. And uh, Empress Masako, um, I came close, quite close to her when I entered the law department of the University of Tokyo after graduating from the physics department. There was this uh, special arrangement for graduate students to enter the law department and do two years of study. And I, you know, attended the law school for two years um, after graduating from the physics department. And Embrace Masako at that time uh, graduated from the Harvard University and entered the law department using the same system that I used. And we were so one year different. And, you know, so I didn't have time to um, have any conversation with um, Her Royal Highness at the time. But um, I had rumors, I had rumors that she was really a brilliant, excellent uh, person. And, uh, you know, there were some really high hopes for her as a diplomat. So when um, she married uh, the Crown Prince at the time, um, you know, everybody was so um, joyous, and including me. So after that, there were some period of difficulty for the Empress, and partly because of the change of environment, uh, because she was a carrier diplomat, and then she became a, a member of the royal family. So, you know, some there were some difficulties, but in recent years, uh, Empress Masako has um, probably came back to the, you know, original glorious self, and we were so glad about it. So this trip to the UK uh, by the emperor and empress is something really poignant, and because, you know, both of them studied at Oxford University. I myself did postdoc at Cambridge, and, you know, so as a person who has stayed in the UK for some years, I can understand their affinity to uh, the English culture, uh, especially in the case of the emperor. Uh, he had sometimes uh, visited the queen, had a picnic together, and stayed at the castle in Scotland. So this connection between the emperor and um, the great queen, Elizabeth, is something really deep, and it represents the very special bond that the United Kingdom and Japan uh, have um, over the years, and um, I am really glad as a Japanese citizen and as a human being uh, to see the 
emperor and empress make their visits to the UK after so many years. Uh, they had their official invitation from the UK government a few years ago, I understand. But because of the corona uh, pandemic, uh, COVID-19 pandemic, they couldn't make it. So this is a sad occasion. Um, I wish the queen would have lived to see the royal couple visit her in um, Buckingham Palace and elsewhere. But, you know, time passes and, you know, human lives are limited. And, you know, in this time, at this occasion of, uh, you know, paying respect to the very wonderful lady, uh, I am really glad that the emperor and empress of Japan are making their journey to the United Kingdom at last. And I, I can only imagine uh, what would come across their minds as they, you know, greet uh, King Charles and, you know, um, see the people they know and uh, fought to find themselves in an environment uh, where they had spent some years in the youth. And, you know, this is as if uh, the cycle of, cycle of life is coming to uh, fulfillment. Um, it is so, <clears throat> you know, moving to see them uh, make this visit um, finally to the UK. Although at this time it is tinged with sadness, of course, but um, I think life goes on. And I do hope that the special relationship between Japan and the UK would thrive. And, you know, and this would be a great occasion to reaffirm our friendship and uh, mutual respect and I wish uh, the Emperor and Empress the best of um, experiences while they stay in the UK and I wish uh, King Charles and the members of the royal family of the UK and of course um, the people of UK the best of luck uh, for um, the coming years and I do hope to, that I can make a visit to the UK sometime uh, soon because you know um, the United Kingdom is uh, like a second home to me and um, because of the coronavirus pandemic I have not been able to uh, make a visit um, for some time.